Imagine cozying up at home on a cold winter's day. You're ready to enjoy a good book when, out of nowhere, your joints begin to ache. You've noticed this happens more often in winter, and even when a storm is on the horizon. Could there be any truth to the old wives' tale that weather affects your joint pain? Could there be a connection between the chill in the air, the drop in the barometer, and the pain that's gnawing at your joints? It's a question that has puzzled many, and has led scientists to delve deep into the mysteries of our bodies and the world around us. So, let's unravel this intriguing enigma together. Let's delve into the science to see if there's any truth to this tale. A study analyzed data from 14 studies involving 2,194 osteoarthritis patients. The results were quite revealing. Let's dive into the heart of this research. The investigation focused on understanding the correlation between weather conditions and the pain experienced by osteoarthritis patients. What they discovered, my friends, was a revelation indeed. The study found a significant link between lower temperatures and increased joint pain. Now this might sound a bit abstract, so let's break it down. Imagine on a cold winter's day, you're feeling those joints a bit more than usual, that stiffness and discomfort seem to amplify. According to this study, there's a good reason for that. The chill in the air might indeed be causing your joints to protest, but that's not all. The research also unveiled a connection between drops in atmospheric pressure and higher pain levels. Picture this, you're sitting at home and you can sense a storm brewing even before the first drop of rain hits the ground. You feel it in your bones, quite literally, as your joint pain intensifies. Well, it turns out, there's scientific evidence that supports this phenomenon. It's fascinating to think that something as everyday as the weather could have such a profound impact on our well-being. But as they say, knowledge is power. The more we understand about these associations, the better we can manage and anticipate the challenges that come with osteoarthritis. The question then arises, why does this happen? Why do lower temperatures and drops in atmospheric pressure lead to increased joint pain? Unraveling this mystery could open new avenues for managing osteoarthritis and improving the quality of life for those affected. So, it appears there may be some truth to the old wives' tale after all, but how does this really happen? Now let's uncover the potential reasons behind this interesting correlation between weather and joint pain. You might be wondering, why does my joint pain seem to flare up when it's cold or when a storm is brewing? Well, science is still trying to get a full grasp on this, but there are a few theories that might explain this phenomenon. First up is the barometric pressure theory. Barometric pressure is the weight of the atmosphere that surrounds us. When the weather changes, this atmospheric pressure drops. This drop in pressure can cause the tissues around the joints to swell, leading to pain and discomfort. It's kind of like when you take a bag of chips up a mountain. The lower pressure outside the bag causes it to inflate, not unlike the tissues in your joints. The second theory is the temperature theory. When it's cold, your body naturally tries to conserve heat. It does this by reducing the blood flow to your extremities, like your hands and feet, to keep your core warm. Less blood flow can make those areas feel stiff and achy. It's your body's way of saying, hey, it's cold, let's huddle up and stay warm. And lastly, there's the neural sensitivity theory. This suggests that changes in weather could somehow make the nerves around the joints more sensitive, thus increasing the perception of pain. It's like having a superpower, but instead of seeing through walls, you're predicting the weather with your knees. These theories, while not definitive, provide some insight into why your joints might be acting up when the weather changes. And while we can't change the weather, understanding these potential triggers can help us manage the pain better. So, the next time you're feeling an ache in your joints and there's a storm on the horizon, you can say, ah, it's not just an old wives' tale, there's some science to this. And as we close this chapter, remember every ache, every throb is your body conversing with you, telling its own unique story of resilience and survival. So listen closely, understand and respond. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep questioning everything because in the world of science, every day is a new discovery.